All right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right guys, so today I'm taking you to the local store. Um, I'm gonna buy all my groceries today for the week and I thought I'll use that opportunity to actually uh, show you and explain to you the difference between calories and kilojoules. I know some of my clients always ask me, Roche, but you know, I'm in the store, but I don't know how much uh, calories is in that specific pro um, product that they wanna buy. So I'm gonna explain that to you. Obviously you can see what I buy uh, and hopefully you can get a little uh, knowledge from this video and uh, I'll explain later when I come back uh, when I get to, to the house uh, we can talk about what uh, the difference between the calories and uh, kilojoules are. Alright, first one, bananas. You can't really go without these. Uh, super, super healthy, uh, just 105 calories each, but I'll explain that at home. Okay. Alright, next on the list we have broccoli. Uh, you know, you can either buy the whole head, I like to cut the ones, to buy the one that's already cut, uh, it's just easier. I can just uh, weigh 100 grams and I put it in the pot, so these for me are the best shot. Alright, so next on the list, raspberries, these are really good. I love, I enjoy them on my yogurt. So what I do, I just get 125 grams. I'll tell you what the calories are at home, of course, but uh, excellent choice. All right, so these are, you know, I know that you shouldn't really use sauces when you do a diet, but I just feel like when I do buy something, I go tomato sauce and I make sure that it's carb smart. So it's low in sugar. It actually has no sugar added. So again, I will explain everything when I get home. All right, next on the list, we have chicken fillets. You know, these fillets, uh, it's obviously the best protein that I take. You know, I'm not really a meat person. Red meat is not for me. Chicken, what I also do like is the stir fried chicken. So they're super nice and tender. Uh, I take about three kilos of these per week. All right, so, the Oreo is something special. There's something I want to show you about the Oreos actually. Uh, calorie wise, kilojoules wise, how how crazy it actually is. But I'm not going to eat it. Martin's going to have it. Right, Martin? <laughs> then we're going to have some whole wheat crisp bread, Providas. Tasty. All right, and who can forget yum yum peanut butter. This is probably one of my favorite things of the whole diet is that I can actually have as much peanut butter as I want. Then we have uh, another one that I want to show you is the Snickers bar. You won't believe how many calories this one has. Alright, so we're doing the low fat plain yogurt. So this is basically Greek yogurt. You could buy it in a 500 gram bottle, but I like to take the 150 gram because that's exactly how I know and it's easy to measure. Uh, it might just be a little bit more expensive, but it's just much more easier to actually weigh your food when you buy one of these. All right, we need eggs for the muscles. All right, I always make sure that I have cheese as well. It's really dense in calories, but it's good and healthy, protein, what you need. All right, as you can see, like this uh, is a ultra kilojoule control brown bread. So it actually tells you how many calories per slice is. So that's like my job done. Alright, so I am heading back home. I got everything I want, everything I need uh, for the week. So I'm gonna, of course, explain to you what the calories and kilojoules are. So let's check it out. Alright, 
so I'm back and as I promised I bought all the groceries that I needed uh, from my local store and uh, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much calories each one of these have uh, and the reason why I want to do that because you know when you go to the store you can't really always see what the calories are say for instance if we take the Provitas all right we take the Provitas and we look at the back and what it what it says and I'll show all the details on the left is that the kilojoules is a thousand six hundred and fifty two but luckily for us it says that the calories is 395 so this is a really easy one it tells you exactly how much how much grams you know it's a like for instance it'll say it's 90 91 gr uh, grams for four biscuits so you know all these details it's on the pack so it's really easy you're not going to struggle with that one but the reason like i said why i'm doing all of this is because you take take the tomato sauce for instance here you'll see that it only has kilojoules so it'll tell you that per 100 grams there's 293 kilojoules now the important thing about kilojoules and calories is that you if you want to find out how many calories there are in kilojoules you just take your calculator you take it out and you divide that kilojoules which is 293 and you divide that by 4.2 so you take 4.2 and that gives you 69 calories so that's how easy it is so if you find a product uh, on the shelf that you can't really see what the calories is it only gives you the kilojoules at least you can work it out yourself by just dividing the, uh, the kilojoules with the 4.2 and then here is another example and what you also need to be careful of uh, this is the low fat yogurt and what you do here is I actually want to show you on the on the back it says only kilojoules as well so you need to divide it by 4.2 and then it says here 100 grams 150 grams and 25 grams so you obviously need to see what size tub you bought so this is a 150 so you have to look on the 150 side and there it will say that it's got 321 kilojoules so you just divide that by 4.2 and then you get the calories and I'll put everything on the side here uh, broccoli is a different story um, you know broccoli a hundred grams of broccoli is 34 calories so you can see this is a 500 500 gram uh, bag of broccoli so obviously if you divide that by five uh, or if you take 34 times five that will give you uh, your total calories for the whole bag of course and then here this one is a little different as well because you know the sizes of fruit uh, differs so if you take this banana this is a this I would call a medium size medium size banana you know um, this is 105 calories so if you take if you take a bigger size banana you probably add about 20 to 25 calories if it's a little smaller you just minus the 20 the 20 calories so that's basically how I do that and the same with your uh, raspberries now this one you'll see there's nothing at the back so there's no calories there's no kilojoules so how you know Roche how do I how do I do that how do I work this out so um, as you see on the screen here you can use my fitness bell uh, it's an app that you can just download it's for free and you can you can literally scan it in so I'm going to show you how I do that just gonna quickly scan it in and uh, it's really simple so the nice thing about the app is you can literally just go you go to food you go to you choose breakfast and then on the right top hand corner you'll see there's a bar and you can just hold, hover it over that bar zoom in click it and uh, it eventually will just give you the barcode and it says one cup 64 calories uh, 14 0.7 carbs 0.8 grams of fat and 1.5 grams of protein so it's a really nice app it's something definitely that I would suggest that you download it is for free I must warn you that it does take a lot of data so just make sure you top up or you are in a Wi-Fi area and then this one is the favorite thing peanut butter who doesn't love peanut butter right but the thing the reason why I took this specific peanut butter is because at the back it says kilojoules um, protein carbs fat and then it has your sugar right 
So in this case, the sugar is 2.1 grams of sugar per serving. Now one serving is one tablespoon, right? So I normally, if you do decide to take peanut butter or anything like that, make sure that you take a sugar-free one, like the, like the carb conscious tomato sauce, also no added sugar. So make sure that you, you don't have sugar because sugar just contains, it's a lot of empty calories, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a simple carb and you, that's not something you want to put in your body. So uh, that's why I took these two as examples. And that's why I took them, at, I told you in the store that I'm going to take these two. Uh, Snickers and your Oreos and the reason why if you look at the back of the Snickers it says this 50 grams grams of 50 grams of Snickers right it's 1009 kilojoules and luckily for us it says the calories it says 241 calories so this is 241 calories in one this is a whole breakfast you know you can have two eggs two slices of toast and in, in the place of this snicker bar. That's more nutritious, this is, this is nothing. This is just sugar and I can prove that to you because it says the sugar level is uh, the total amount of sugar, 25.9 grams. So half of this bar is sugar. So I just remember that. The same with Oreos. You're looking at, there's four, four cakes in these, four little Oreo cookies. And if you look at the value, uh, it's 182 for this pack. Four cookies, 182. And you get people that eat that whole... That, Martin, you like these? Yeah? Crazy. Anyway, so let's go, go... So basically what I'm saying is stay away from sugar when you are in the process of losing weight. It's really important that you try and keep lean. And that's why I have chicken breast. Obviously you can have fish, you can have meat. I, I, meat has a little bit more fat on it, whereas with the chicken, 100 grams of chicken, and you'll see the details on the side of course, but 100 grams of chicken has 97 calories in it, and only, it, well it basically has 20 grams of protein in 100 grams. So if you have two, 300 grams, you can bulk up a decent amount of, of protein. So, you know, that's that's basically it. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, after years of just going to the store and buying these things and figuring these things out by myself, uh, you, you, you kind of get used to it. Like, I just know how much all these things are. But if you are new to, to uh, calorie counting and making sure, you know, that you get the right amount of calories in, then uh, hopefully that information will help you when you get to the store, you pick up the thing, you can see it's uh, kilojoules, calories. And of course, if you have any other questions, you can just leave comments down below. Um, I will try and answer them as soon as possible. Uh, also, if you want to see more of these videos, because I will be making, you know, videos of with the calories. I'll be making videos with workouts. So much more videos coming uh, for 2021 as well. So if you want to subscribe, please do so. Um, I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Thank mm -hmm. you.